This is Art Dizzy. I mean, MMA Joey. He's been doing MMA content for around four years now. And as you can see in the picture from four years ago, not much has changed with MMA Joey, he, apart from the sweat on his lip. And you're probably wondering why are we do why are we talking about Joey today? Well, Joey's known for being a contrarian within the space, and he's just full of dumb takes. One of those dumb takes is about Robert Whittaker. So Joey's been piping up on Twitter, and it starts with I'm. How egotistical is this man? So self-absorbed and narcissistic, he starts it off with I'm. I'm beyond sick. Well, what makes me sick is looking at you and your art disease. But we, we put it behind us. We, we're, we're good sports in the MMA community and each to their own. If you like to overindulge on shit food, that is up to you, my friend. But this, this is not, it's, it's crossing lines. I'm egotistical as fuck. I'm beyond sick of Robert, Robert Whittaker. Privilege. I'm beyond sick of Robert Whittaker privilege. Now, this this is just a bit of a joke at this point because Robert Whittaker he's been at the top for many years. He's for the who's who of, of the fucking company. He's just come off a short notice fight and he didn't pull out of the Amzat fight. Amzat did. We continue with the with, with, with the Joey quote. So Joey believes unranked contender in his last fight and gets to unpick his next opponent. So he believes that in the last fight, he fought an unranked contender. Not his fault. Not his fault. He, it wasn't his fault that he, he fought an unranked contender. I don't know why he's blaming, blaming Whitaker. It wasn't Whitaker's fault. They wanted to keep the fight on. And that was at a, a cost of Whitaker facing an unranked opponent. He was taking the risk. He had nothing to gain from that fight. It's not... If you look at people in the top rankings, they don't want to be fighting people outside the rankings. They turn them down time and time again. It's not his fault he fought Ikram. He, he took a risk and it paid off for him. But, and gets to and pick his next opponent. Yeah. It was a fight that was previously booked and the UFC tend to try reboot certain fights if they make sense. And that one just makes sense. Uh, Robert Whitaker, Well... Robert Whitaker's needs to wants to fight. He wants to stay active, which is great news for Robert Whitaker fans and UFC fans getting him get getting to see him fight multiple times this year. And in the regards to Strickland, I'm pretty sure Strickland said he was rank squatting for a while and that he's going to wait and see what the Drikus uh, Izzy fight outcome is, and then he'll play his hand, just like Israel Adesanya rank squatted. He got multiple opportunities as well. Anyway, we take a look at what our good friend Musical MMA had to say uh, to Joey. So he's been on, he's been at the top for many years for multiple close championship fights. You're clinging on to your little gotcha moments like cholesterol clinging onto your arteries. So it's facts, isn't it? It's facts. I mean, he has, he's got, he's got issues with. I don't know, man. Like Joey's, Joey's, he, he's playing that life, isn't he? He's playing that ear for a good time, not a long time. Uh, he's taking that really close to art di disease, I guess. I, I don't know. What, what, whatever he's doing, he's, he's putting his body through some disgustingly unhealthy ways. Anyway, I don't get where he's coming from in, in this. Like Robert Whitaker is one of the most loved fighters in the UFC and he's coming out here and and attacking him he starts the conversation with these egotistical self-absorbed narcissistic I'ms I'm beyond sick no one else is no one else no one else is sick of Robert Whitaker in fact I'd see him fight multiple times this year give him give him any, anyone in in that middleweight who's below him and Amzat's a big name. Like the problem with Amzat is he, he dips between welterweight and middleweight over a numerous amount of fights. So his ranking is probably lower in the middleweight 
purely because of that. He did fight Gilbert Burns, who's ranked six in welterweight, and Usman, who's ranked number two. Well, he was he, up until last week, he was ranked number one in the welterweight division. And they are smaller guys, but he made the weight. So he was a welterweight at the time. He moved back up to middleweight. Now, it's not Amzat's fault he's had some issues, but why are we blaming Robert Whitaker? Robert Whitaker's just taking the biggest name that'll come to him, and it's Amzat. He's already fought the best of the best. Why does he need to keep proving proving point after point? He's been in the business for a long time. We're not talking about someone who's just, you know, being gifted an opportunity like if anything you could argue that Alex Pereira was gifted a lot of privilege on on his rise up to the title and he was but you know sometimes the UFC just gate right and they got it damn right with Alex Pereira they 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 did it the smart way and it was for the that has just been a blessing for the fans aren't it like that we get to see that powerhouse uh just wipe through people time after time so I kind I kind of get it. He put his dues in in another sport, and they they kind of gifted him a way to the championship, and you know selected the right fights for him to have on the way up to make sure that he got there. And now he's fighting the best of the best. So it's undisputed that he he, he belongs where he belongs. Now if they put put him against the wrong person coming up, he might have lost. But Robert Whitaker has been in, in in the rankings at the the top end of the rankings for such a long time. Let's take a look. So going back to, we'll we'll go back to when he, the the Yol Romero fight. So in 2017, he beat Jacare, he beat um, Yol Romero, and then he had a rematch with uh, Romero in 2018. He lost to, he lost the title to Izzy, uh, beat Darren Till, who was you know at the top of the rankings at the time. Kananir, who's still at the top of the rankings right now. Um, he's he's ranked number five. Uh, he then beat Calvin Gastelum. Gastelum slipped down the rankings at the moment. He's he, he's doing terrible, isn't he? He's doing absolutely terrible. He, he isn't even ranked now. But at the time, he was, he was up there. And then let's take a look at Izzy. Izzy, he lost to Izzy again, the rematch. Uh, lost the rematch, but... Izzy is ranked number two. Then he beat Marvin Vittori, Marvin Vittori, who's ranked number six. And then he beat he lost to Drikas, who was the champion. Then he beat Paulo Costa, who is ranked number eight. He was higher at the time. And he slipped down. He was probably around five or six when, when they fought. And then he was supposed to fight Amzat. Yes, Amzat's further down, but... Credit to Amzat. He is up there in the rankings. He's, he, he, he's, if, like I was saying before, it's a stupid, the, the, the way they rank people is absolutely stupid. We've got Max Holloway, who's ranked number nine in the lightweight division. Um, Even though he's beat Justin Gaethje, who's ranked number three in the lightweight division. The rankings don't really mean, necessarily mean shit. They don't mean shit. Especially with certain fighters, Amzat being one of them, he's an exception, and probably Max Holloway is another exception, and so on and so on. Anyway, Amzat beat Usman, he beat uh, Burns, all credit to Amzat. Um, he, he decided to step back up, and well, I don't know if he's, st- the, the UFC match even forced him back up, but either way, it is what it is. Amzat's a big name, I think Robert Whitaker deserves it. It's still a big challenge. Everyone rates Amzat quite highly. It's a challenge for Robert Whitaker. So why not? Why not put put them two together? Or and then Ikram, Ikram stepped in at short notice because Amzat pulled out, and they wanted to save the card because it was a uh, was it the Saudi Arabian card or what was it the Abu Dhabi? It was the Saudi Arabia card, yeah. The Saudi Arabia card, they wanted to save the card. Um, they want, let, let's face it, they wanted an, a, a Muslim on the main card. So they selected Ikram. 
they could have they could have pulled in over other people were up for it people were on twitter talking about stepping up but they wanted a muslim on that main card so they, they selected ikram that was more to do with the saudi arabians than it ever was to do with robert whitaker but we've got mma joey here complaining bitching and moaning acting like it was robert whitaker's decision to put ikram in that slot it was the UFC in Saudi Arabia that came up with that. And credit to Whitaker, he took the fight, even though he he definitely had more to lose than he had to gain in that moment. And now he's taking on Amzat, the, the fight that he should have had. And he's turned it around quick. So he's turned it around really quick. So they fought in June and they'll be fighting on UFC 308 which is scheduled for October. So he's turned it around. This year, that'll put Robert Whitaker fighting three times in the same year. So that's credit to Robert Whitaker. We want to see him active. I think he's best when he's active, fighting regularly. He keeps that meanness up, that, that aggression. And hopefully we get to see that in the next fight against Amzat and he doesn't sit back too much then he'll probably have to take a top fight. Like Joey's, Joey's acting like he, he won't have to take a top contender after that. We do know that Strickland's sitting out. Maybe that'll force Strickland's hand. Maybe the UFC won't give Strickland the next title shot because he's been rank squatting. Maybe they'll do Whitaker Strickland after this and force Strickland to fight Whitaker. Maybe they'll do... Whitaker versus the, the loser of Adesanya and Andrikas. Maybe they'll even give him the title shot. But who the fuck cares? The man has earned it. The old top fighters in the division. They all deserve to be where they are. Strickland number one. Izzy number two. Robert number three. Andrikas the champion. Now all those fighters, they, they, they warrant where they, they are. Should Izzy be getting the title shot next? Probably not. They, they, they could have done a rematch with Strickland, but it is what it is. The old wavy fighters, best of the best, let them crack on. So, MMA Joey, you're full of shit. Stop being a cr contrarian for the sake of being a contrarian. Picking on Robert Whitaker, bullying Robert Whitaker. Who do you think you are, man? Who do you think you are? This is disgusting behavior, all in the name of content. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Does Whitaker need to be fighting someone else? Or do you think the that fight's good enough? Let me know. Like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. So here's to the fighters, the fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears on the fame. And here's to as in key, you're ready to go. On the brutally honest MMA show.